What does white water mean to me? What does it bring to my life? It's a medium that can both challenge and humble all of us. It can be a vehicle to take you to amazing places. What we're out here doing is exploring that and exploring Idaho and uh, the gems that it's got hidden away. The wilderness always draws you back. Everybody gets sick of those routines and the wilderness offers a break of that routine. It's unreal to have such a large area in our backyard. Look at that thing. Every time I come back here, it, it feels like coming home. I think that we're all pretty used to being able to drive to the put-in and run the section of river and then that's it. You drive back home and you don't really get to immerse yourself as much in the area that you're paddling through. And out here in the wilderness, it's a whole different level. There's no road. The adventure is not in the difficulty of the white water, but in the unknown. I think a lot of the reason that all of us have kind of migrated to this weird guiding gypsy lifestyle at some point in time is that we love the wild and that draws us into the middle fork of the salmon every spring. It sits in the Frank Church wilderness, which is around two and a half million acres of roadless wild land. I'm always reassessing my direction and the values in my life and the things that are steadfast in that reassessment are my value for experiences and places like like this. The river continues to shape our lives and will probably do so for the rest of them. One of the biggest reasons why I decided to go into nursing originally was so that I could have a job that gave me flexibility working out here determine which career that I would choose moving forward so that I could continue to come back. This time last year I was learning how to walk, you know, I wasn't was a walker. It's my white blood cells attacked my body and uh, the cartilage turned to bone between my femurs and my pelvis. I was borderline crippled. I ended up getting dual hip replacement for me to do that and then come back out in this wilderness and charge and enjoy and be blessed by what it offers is, is incredible. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's, I just didn't think I'd ever have this opportunity again. And I realized that my identity didn't rely on my physical ability to be a paddler or a guide, but more in the person I was in those moments. Ultimately, that if everything is stripped away, there's still that love that binds people to you, and you can be a reflection of that love. And we've all kind of grown up together not only as paddlers, but also as guides and as friends. And uh, we've been making these big transitional phases together and dreaming about doing a trip like this for a long time. It's really amazing to have a group of friends that you can experience this with. One of the ways that it impacts me the most is that it just forces me to live in the presence. It's a different level of friendship that ends up being forged. We have to rely on each other. and. We're always trying to piece together what's the line, what can we make work between our bodies and the flow of the river. It be so powerful, it's tearing against the rocks, it's always eroding. There's no better feeling than piecing together this huge, raw, beastly puzzle. It's so humbling to be out here in this place. It's definitely inform my life and will continue to inform my life moving forward. I don't know what it is, but it's just something so beautiful to dance, I say, with the white water. You know, instead of seeing it as a challenge or a battle or like be terrified, you gotta see it as like a dance. I can never really be close friends with somebody unless I share an activity with them. I think that still applies for nature. I, I can't have a friendship with the area or a knowledge of the area without having done something in it. Now when I float by these corridors, I have a greater appreciation. White water is full of excitement, friendship, apprehension, full of joy. It has built the strongest relationships that I have in my life. It's a trip that we'll remember for the rest of our lives. I'm thankful to have the wild in my life. I'm thankful for the Frank. <laughs>